The Formula vehicle should have high performance acceleration, braking, and handling, and be adequately durable to complete the racing event. The chassis is the frame of the vehicle that support all functional vehicle systems. In designing the Formula vehicle, we need to test and analyze the mechanical performance of the chassis under different load conditions, such as vertical load, shear load, torsional load, and frequency analysis. Here, a model is built for the chassis to analyze the performance of it under longitudinal torsion. Longitudinal torsion endurance can be described as torsional rigidity. It's a strength to hold twist load. The vehicle front tires go upside because of a bump and is considered as critical condition for the front chassis. Torsional rigidity shows how much torque is needed to deform a component, and it is a determinant of frame performance of cars. A common test of torsional rigidity of a car is to apply static torsional condition to the chassis. For this analysis, geometry is given. A pair of forces is applied on the front connection points to tires, forming a torsional load condition. The two end connections to tires are fixed. For this problem, the material used for the chassis is simplified to be a homogeneous metal material. The failure stress is assumed to be the yield stress, 250 MPa. The deformation of the simulation shows obvious torsional movement over the chassis. The maximum deformation is about 9 mm over the main body. Here we're excluding the connection rods so that we can focus on the main structure. The von Mises stress result shows that the high stress area concentrates around connection areas and large curvature areas of the geometry, which is expected. The maximum von Mises stress is calculated to be 200 MPa, which is far lower than the yield stress of the material. Therefore, we can say that the material is in safe condition for this problem. We can also find the principal stresses of the chassis. Moreover, the vector plot of the principal stresses tell us the direction of each principal stress at every point over the body. Here, the red arrows are the direction of the maximum principal stress, green ones are for medium principal stress, and blue ones are for minimum principal stress.